After I was done with the festival in Denmark, I was on my way to the Netherlands for the first of three editions of the World Street Painting Festival in Apeldoorn. With a car, we drove all the way to Bielefeld, then I took the train and traveled the rest of the trip to Apeldoorn. It took me overall 11 hours to get here. We all stayed in this really nice accommodation, which was a courtroom 100 years ago. Today they turned it into a bed and breakfast. The next day after a breakfast I went to the storage where the festival keeps the materials for the artist. There I took my paint, brushes and everything else what I needed. I painted next to a jewelry store where they make snake skin inspired jewelry, which was a nice fit for my street painting. Every time when I start a new 3D street painting, I can't wait to finish the boring and more slowly part, which is the grid and sketching with the chalk. But this is the most important part of the process, to get the drawing and proportion right on the beginning. This is a must do for me, after I do the sketch with chalk I do the outlines with paint to protect it from the rain and also the drawing is more visible. I struggled with the idea because the festival team was volleyball. They picked this idea because of, at that time the volleyball world championship was happening and it was held in the Netherlands. We had to design something which has to do with volleyball and it has to be interactive. I didn't know what to draw, I really don't like volleyball so it was difficult. So for me to make it interesting I had to combine it with something I personally like. So my idea was to paint, present a match of volleyball, two people playing but under dangerous conditions. You will see later what I mean by that. I arrived in Apeldoorn two days earlier because I had this commission to paint these seven children games around the city for the festival. I had two days to finish this job but I needed one extra day, so for the festival I only had two days instead of three to finish my painting. I didn't even finish my sketch, I worked on it the night before. To finish in time, my plan for the first day is to cover the whole painting with paint and also to establish where the shadows and where the light parts are. When I start painting, I mix a mid-tone and paint everything with it. Then I mix a darker version of this mid-tone where I paint the shadows. After that, I mix a lighter shade where I paint the lighter parts which are catching light. After that, I only add more contrast, make the shadows more darker and the lights more brighter until it looks realistic to me. It was really tricky and confusing painting these snake scales. I didn't have time to make them 100% right, but I was happy how they turned out in the end. Ninety percent of the process I paint with paint rollers. 
It is much easier and faster to cover big spaces. But for the details I use fine brushes. This was my first time in Appledore. I had the chance to spend three more days after the festival. I explored the city a bit and I saw some nice graffiti and street art on the way. This is the part where I paint the shadows much darker to give the painting a bigger contrast. I mentioned on the beginning that this festival is the first edition of three. And what I mean by that is that they organize the same festival in three different cities in the Netherlands. In Appeldoorn, Arnhem and in Rotterdam. I will also post the videos about the other festivals in the future. The most fun part is painting the highlights. The rocks look so much real after I add these highlights to the sharp edges. But you have to be careful not to overdo it, then it will look wrong. I made that mistake where I painted two bright highlights on the snake. I added too much white and it looked fake, so I had to darken these areas a little bit. This was my second snake 3D street painting. Last year I painted one in Zwolle and you can watch that video too. But this is also not my last one. I painted another one couple weeks later and this will be another video. So if you like snake paintings, stay tuned. I hope you liked the final painting and the idea with the snake. I hope you also enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the Arnhem and Rotterdam editions as well and also other festivals and commissions I did in 2022. I will post them all so stay tuned for that. If you want to support me you can do it on Patreon and buy me a coffee. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye.